The PoE technology can transfer both power and data over single internet cable. It saves the cost to install the IP device, such like the IP camera. There's no need to wire extra power cook to the camera. However, the PoE only can supply 100 meter distance. In some applications, we may need more than 100 meter network link. So we will have to add the PoE standard to the network to achieve longer PoE connection. This is the PoE standard. First question you may ask whether this device requires external power or not. The answer is negative. The PoE standard will take the power from our power device such like the PoE network or PoE switch or PoE MVR and consume a little bit less than 0.5 watts and just forward the rest of the power to the next PoE standard or the IP camera. Each PoE standard can extend 100 meter. If you will require more than 100 meter in the project, we will have to add another PoE standard. So uh, the maximum PoE standard we can use in a single PoE system is 4 unit. The total distance will be 500 meter internet cable. Alright, now let's take a close look at the PoE standard. This is the PoE input and this is the port we're connecting to the cable from the a power device such like our PoE MVR or PoE switch. And here we have two PoE out, two RJ45 port, which means technically this PoE standard can work with two PoE IP camera. If we only need single port, just connect to one of the IP camera, you can use this rubber plug and just put into the waterproof cat make sure the rest of the port is not going to get the water like this and here we have three indicate LED which will tell whether the LAN, the network is working correctly or not we will see the indicators start fraction while their state is changed in the link this is the ground spot it's good practice to ground the PoE standard to have better search protection Okay, now let's just take a quick look at our PoE system. This is the PoE MVR, oh sorry, PoE switch and the MVR. The MVR is connecting to the switch. And here we have the PoE IP camera. All right, now just let's make the connection. First, we will have to pass the cable through the waterproof cap. Sorry, it's wrong. All right. Now we connect this cable to the PoE input port. It's very important to fasten. Tightly. All right, you can see once we plug in, you can see the land start fraction, which means this PoE standard is getting a both getting a power and network from the front and PoE switch. Right now we pick one of the port. It doesn't matter which port we uh, pick up, it both port work exactly the same. Then we pass the new cable to the waterproof cat. And here is also the rubber. All right, now we pick the port and we also need to fasten the rope tightly. The indicator is not star flashing yet. The reason is because we still didn't connect the cable to the camera.
Right now, leave us the extra pot. We are going to use going to use this one to get out of the water. Right now the connection is done, we are going to the end of the cable and just plug to our POE camera. Once we plug in, we can see the indicator starts flashing, which means the camera is getting both power and network from the POE switch. Right, also the indicator, yeah, we are seeing a live immediately. Alright, before we close the video, I would like to run one more quick test. This is the small water ring, water tank. I'm going to put this theory standard and let's see whether it's still working or not. But just make sure if we run test, make sure it's typing. All right, now we're going to put it in the water. You can see the indicator is start flashing. It's still working well. The camera is still working. We have been we have been tested for more than one month under one one meter water tank. It's totally bigger than this one. This PoE standard is IP67 water rate. We can directly bury this PoE standard under the ground. Alright, thanks for hiding out. Don't forget to subscribe us. Any question with the PUE standard, please leave a comment below. Have a nice day.